Joseph here at Edge Dynamics making a shave video and I've got a couple of razors I've got this one from last week which is the Napoleon and I realized in the video that it was covered in oil when I was showing it to you guys so here it is oil free and uh, yeah that's the beautiful finish but um yeah, so I did this on the Yuzuku Kitter last week and I came to the con it was it had a good shave but it didn't feel butter smooth or butter smooth I should say. So uh, I decided that what I'd do with this is I'd rehone it but using I'll show you while I'm talking, do you want to look at me? Um I thought I'd rehone it on the Yuzuku Kitter again but doing less work. And this morning I tried that and uh, it didn't look right under the scope, it wasn't looking right. So I realised that I hadn't used that stain in probably a year, half a year, a long time anyway. And in between I'd lapped it quite a bit, trying to get rid of it like there's an, an, an anomaly on the, uh, on the stone. It doesn't affect the honing process but thought see if I could get rid of it. So basically I think I've gone into sort of like a different part of the stone. Because um, I had some good edges off it before uh, doing a full progression. So I thought you know what let's just, it's not the Maruko, it's a different stone. It is, the way it's chewing up the Nagoras would lead you to think it's really aggressive but a Nagora isn't steel is it, it's stone obviously. Um, so I thought let's do a lot of work and uh, that's what I've done. I've done a lot of work and just to complicate things even worse or even more I finished on water. I did like 15 or 15 to 20 laps just with water which I'm not sure you could do with that stone but the HHT is good and We'll find out if it doesn't shave. I've done the same to the uh, another razor. I'm just oiling this now. Um, if these don't shave, then that's the end of the video. I'll, uh, I'll just cancel it because I don't think I've got anything to hand to shave with. I had the same problem during the week. I did a razor for a customer. It had to be really good, so I, I did it on the Maruka, and I just. Just went like that on my face, it was amazing honestly, it was butter smooth. So um, that was it, I didn't want to use it anymore, I didn't want to waste the edge. But I had nothing to finish the shave with, so I've got I've got razor rolls full of razors, all honed. I got those out, I was trying to shave with them. Didn't realise they had uh, wax on them. It's turned into a bit of a nightmare, but these things happen so. No mucking about. I got the uh, Antica Barbieria Cola, Cola or Cola. I can't think of a better cream at the moment. So I use some of that. Oh yeah, super almond, strong almond. This is. Um. Yeah, why am I lathering? I haven't showed you the main razor. Which is <coughs> this little fella. It's a uh, another Napoleon. Super special one, this one. Um, don't know how I could forget about this, to tell you the truth. But 
I mean, you can see for yourself how nice it is. It's a real beauty. Get some focus in there. I don't know what's that. It's a drop of water. Um, yeah, check out the grind on this. Kind of looks like a super belly, but it's obviously because it's been hollowed. That grind, really intricate. Another nice one. There was some. It did have some pitting. And uh, I'll drop in some pictures so you can see the befores. Um, what else can I say about this? Yeah, there's, if you look by the, by the pin in, there's a little crack. See that little crack there? So I did these silver plates and pin them into place, glued them, pin them. Um, so let me get on with this. The crack, um, it's just on the, it's just on the outside. It doesn't go all the way through. And I was pretty sure that I could hone it, that I could pin it. Uh, you know, and it wouldn't, that crack wouldn't worsen or open up. I was confident in that, but I had to think, you know, if I sell this one day, uh, someone could be freaking out about that crack. So, and then I gave it quite a lot of thought how to deal with it. And I didn't want to do that, put those steel plates there, because I thought it's, um, the road is too nice to have, you know, bits added on and stuff like that, but, Really pleased with it. Looks really good. And uh, you always get really secure pinning if you have those plates. I mean, it's really tight. Uh, well, it shouldn't come loose. But uh, the bevel's a bit like a uh, full hollow bevel. And I did the same thing as I did on this one I'm about to try now. I uh, did a lot of work and I finished with water. So it's all or nothing with these. Let's find out. Oh, thank God for that. Um, so yeah, that's that's super smooth. Um, so the main thing, I mean, I shouldn't really be testing with these razors. I could have just done these on on the Nakayama, and I'd know what's what, but. You know, I took the opportunity, so now I know what I'm really doing with that, um, with the Izuku Kitta. So, as I said, I'm going to stick on that for a while now. Now I know to do a lot of work, and I can finish on water. Centers nicely, let's close this window. Got some kids. So, <clears throat> completely different grind this one. But um, yeah, the HHT on that one I just tried is the kind of HHT that I always want. I can't really describe it to you guys, but it's what I'm looking for. The HHT on this was like a super level six or whatever. But um, as I say, it's a finer grind on the, uh, on the bevel, so that could explain that. Find out what this little fin is like. Yeah, that's really nice. 
whether or not I'm going to have weepers or the edge will last. We'll find out, but yeah, it even makes more noise. It is like a half hollow. Got a little cut there or something. I haven't got much to shave. It's just a week's worth. But yeah, it feels good. And this one as well. I removed a bit of steel from the uh, from by the pivot to get it to centre. Which is my new it's my new thing now. So I'll, I will show you how it centers. I mean, it goes right. It gets focus. Look, I mean, look, there's no give in that. And I got it perfect. So I'm really happy with that. dripping in the background. Like I'm gonna have to deal with. Working on another one. Uh, Napoleons and paragons, paragons. So you know what I'm going to be doing. Um, the next one I'm working on is uh, I don't know what it is actually, I think it might be a Napoleon, but it's kind of like that Mother of Pearl one, but um, it's a bit more chunky, slightly different design, but the scales, really nice, they're um, ivory and silver. So hopefully in a week or two I'll be back with that and then probably planning ahead just let me rinse this off yeah moving forward I think after that, the one I'm eyeing up after the one I'm doing at the moment is a uh, it's Napoleon, you know, the kind of razor that's got like the square spine in it, and it can be uh, stamped on the spine as well. It's one of those really nice, really heavy, and for that, I think I'm going to make scales. Easier said than done. I want to find something really special. <coughs> Maybe something kind of orange or kind of box. It'd be oxhorn, obviously, but orange or toffee or. I have got some, I've got a set of scales, oh, I've told you guys this before, 
the, I don't know what I made them for, they're straight, but they're just amazing, they're orange and they've got this like alien writing in there. I don't know if they can be repurposed because I don't want to take anything off them and they're quite awkward the shape but I mean who knows what I've got really because I've got quite a bit of uh, ox so who knows what I could find I suppose that's the difference between a, um, a wedge and a finer grind. A bit more weight gets around the corners better. bit of a masterpiece this one really. Maybe I did one too many laps on the water. Probably I think if I, I've rehomed this and I'll finish it with like five laps but now I know the uh, Azuki can be finished with water I'll be doing that every time now and we are stain free streak free very nice I was going to say no stinging, but right there, I don't know what I've done. I think I've took a bit of skin off. I love that stinging as well. Um, get the lid back on this stuff. Let's bloody this white towel. I had to use this business, the apricot hull. Getting the right amount out there is like, it's near impossible. Get what you get right now, do you? Quite a bit. But this stuff is nice. Oh, there's no alcohol in it because that's not stinging. But it's the smell of this that I like. It's concentrated apricot. And that's it. A success. <clears throat> so, thanks for watching. And have a good week, or a great week. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.